Welcome to the channel, folks, Clunkers and Classics. Where last episode we, I painted the 78 Nova Hot Rod Flat Black. It turned out <laughs> some bugs and stuff on it. I just finished unmasking it, so there's all little dust and stuff on it. But, uh, as far as trash or bugs when I painted it, nothing, nothing. It's slick. And the reason why is because it was about 80 degrees out at night. It was about 9 or 10 o'clock at night when I finished it. Uh, it was hot out and the paint dried really fast, mainly because of uh, probably the reducer. This says mid-temperature. Uh, you can get slow, fat, slow, medium, and fast reducer. So whenever you paint a car, uh, you know, if it's really hot out, use slow. Uh, well, I, I probably should have used slow there. But uh, when you paint it flat black, it doesn't matter. When, you, when you're painting gloss, you want to be able to go around the whole car. And when you come back to an area, you still want it to be not you still want it to be wet so it doesn't leave a dry spot right but with with flat black like this it doesn't matter so it's probably best to use the fast medium or fast reducer okay so if it's uh, like really cold out then yeah use fast reducer and it'll keep it wet a little longer uh, but, you know, you're not supposed to paint when it's cold. You know, it's supposed to be, you know, 65, 70 degrees at least. But anyway, <clears throat> no trash, no bugs. Uh, turned out really nice. There's dust and stuff on it now and crap, cigarette ashes and <laughs> everything. Okay. Uh, so let me see. I went and got a windshield today. Well, bought it. it. It'll be in in the morning. It's it's 10 o'clock at night right now. Uh, you pick it up tomorrow morning, and we'll put that in. And I'm going to show you how I put it in. Uh, this, I'm not going to take it out until I get the windshield. You never know. It might come cracked. It might not fit. Something like that. Some weird thing. And then you're stuck without a windshield and it's like Friday tomorrow so then I'd have to wait until Monday to get one a replacement so uh, I, I can't leave this off for four days take the windshield out right now or else I, I would uh, until I get it I'm gonna take the avalanche tomorrow and uh, pick it up I put it in the back seat of the avalanche so it won't get uh, broke or anything and once it's here, then I'll take this out. Okay, we'll just go over it real quick. Uh, it looks like it's been gunked up uh, before somebody took it apart and put some stuff in here, probably because it was leaking. Uh, we don't know if... Usually these old windshields and these old cars are in there with butyl which doesn't harden all the way. It, it just remains a little bit soft and it's easy to cut out. Uh, but if it's been replaced before, you know, it's 40 something, you know, what is it, 46 years old? If it's been replaced in the past, they probably put in the urethane, which all new win, uh, windows are, are put in with urethane because it's a structural part of the car. So it has to be in there real tight and it can't move like butyl even though the windshield really doesn't move but it's a little just a tiny bit of flex okay this is a uh, built-in antenna plugs in right there we can i'll unplug that here later i don't want to break it it doesn't matter if it breaks the new windshield will come with the plug there's plugs in there, goes underneath the dash to the radio. There's no radio or stereo or anything in this car. Uh, so, like I said, I don't think this is factory. Um, 
I'll show you tomorrow when I get the my cutter. I got an air deal that'll cut all that out. When you're taking out an old windshield that's trash, you don't have to be real careful with it. You don't have to worry about it getting cracked or anything because it's just garbage. Okay, so uh, usually I would have new clips. Like the rear here are steel clips. That rear is going to be no problem putting on. Now, these might be steel. I think these are, well, maybe not. More like plastic. I know these side ones are plastic. And this one's broke. Uh, so we're probably just going to put a little bit of urethane in there. We put the chrome back on. Let's put a little tape and just urethane it in there. Because I probably got a bunch of clips around. But uh, it's going to be hard to change them clips. Because it's all gunked up in there. Well, we'll do our best to dig all that out. But uh, again, I think this bottom one here is uh, broke. We'll just put a little dab of urethane on, on this stuff here to... Uh, Make sure it don't come loose. Okay, so here's all the chrome here. Here's the... That's the rear. I got some steel wool. We're going to steel wool all this real good. And there's the front. And I think the little corner ones are in the trunk. You got to have this cowl out to do it. To get out here. The bottom chrome on the cowl. Which is actually in the trunk. It screws in here so you got to have that you got to screw that screw that chrome in after you're putting a new windshield in and then put that cowl in underneath of it so that's why we're leaving all that out till we till we pull the windshield okay uh, so yeah 125 bucks and uh, I don't know 20 bucks or something for the for I bought two tubes of urethane, probably only use maybe one, one and a half. I like to put it on there pretty thick, so don't got no leaks, no water leaks, no air leaks, no whistling noises or anything like that. So we'll go over that uh, tomorrow. Uh, other than that, what else do I need to talk about? Here's the front, turned out pretty good. Uh, it was all chrome, but it was all peeling on the grill and the headlight bezels. Just painted everything, painted everything flat black. We'll look at it tomorrow outside. Uh, as far as putting together, other than the windshield and rear window chrome, uh, we got the bezels here and marker lights to put in. Uh, got, we'll probably do all this in this video. I was just going to do the windshield and uh i'll tell you what else here now i bought this door edge guard uh probably won't put it on the doors but it's for this here this is chrome uh factory chrome stuff that goes on here and a few people have commented about uh uh it's not bad chad's chrome but it's bad chad calls it bad chad chrome it's stick on chrome whether you have door edge guards or for this but people were saying you'll put some bad chad chrome strip across here for the where the vinyl top used to be that that stick on chrome uh does not last in the south it doesn't last very long at all it, it'll uh, the chrome will bake off and then it'll look completely shitty uh, it's good for, for Chad because he lives up there in the Great White North. And he puts all his cars inside. So there's not much sun up there to, uh, or hot sun to bake off all that crap. Uh, but down here, it's it's pretty much useless. It's useless. So I, I don't buy any of that stuff. My, most of my cars sit outside. Uh, so anyway, that's why I bought black. And we'll put that on the edges here. Uh, I used it on my other 78 Nova, which doesn't have this. So it went all the way along with it. Uh, this one just starts here. So we'll put that on there. 
Uh, the rear marker lenses. I think that's about it. Another bug. Steel wool all the windows up. I scrape. I started scraping some with a uh, with a razor blade. Uh, so that's what we get done in this video, guys. I'll show you how to do a windshield. Um, and just put the little knickknack stuff on, on here. And then the second part of the video is going to be a dash cam. I'm, I'm just. Uh, I got to finish it tomorrow in the light, but I got a cool dash cam coming up. This is kind of like a, a, a two-part or a double video. First half, we'll do the uh, windshield. Second half, we're going to do the dash cam on the uh, avalanche, and it's pretty, stick around, it's pretty cool. You know, if you, I know a lot of people don't watch them thinking they're advertisements and all that. Well, they, they kind of are, but uh, it's kind of cool how they work and how they install. Every I've done, uh, this is my third one. Every one's a little bit different. This one is a lot different. Uh, so stay tuned for that. And you can just see how they work and see if you like them. Uh, I'm, I'm starting to really like them. I think that everybody should have one. So that's going to be the second part of this video, guys. Okay. Um, I think that's about all I need to go over. Uh, like I said, not much to put on. Uh, I'm not going to put on the chrome. It has the custom uh, chrome tr here and around here. This side's broken half. is missing. I think we're just going to leave it all flat black, leave all that stuff off. I'm going to throw it in the trunk, though. If I ever sell the car, it'll go with... If somebody wants to get new chrome pieces and the chrome for the vinyl top and all that crap, they can, they can redo all this back to factor original if they want, but I'm not. Okay, so I think... I think that's it, guys. I had this door open. Forgot to not paint the jams. Which I'll probably wipe this down with thinner. I would have thought that the black would have came in there and uh, blew it all in there like this. I just I didn't mask the jams off because didn't want a a big blue thing in the showing. So I said I don't I don't care about it too much we're, we're just doing the outside I could have spent another week or two on this painting under the hood painting under the trunk painting the door jams fixing all the dents in the hood a few on the roof and the trunk but it has to be a kind of a, a quick job and because uh, the cars it's just not worth worth a lot of money it's not worth the, the time and the effort of doing all that especially since you know it's probably be for sale okay so i guess enough rambling that's uh the status of it do the windshield do the dash cam and uh next for the next few days and uh i'll get the video out on that and then we'll we'll go from there on this car i'm just uh see the interior all this plastic is just all somebody commented oh can't your fiberglass that not really it's too warped and it's too brittle uh you know you, you can't really in fact is that one missing that piece is probably missing or broke off or something uh you, you just need new stuff and nobody makes it but we'll we'll clean this stuff up as you know vacuum it out take all this broken stuff off and we'll we'll go from there okay so uh okay See you tomorrow. Okay, guys, pulled her out. Pulled her out in the sun. Got to got to boost this thing. It's got a bad battery.
Okay, there it is out in the sun. As you can see, the sides are pretty straight. Pretty damn straight. I said you can't see no dents. I know there's dents right there, but well, now I can't even feel them. <laughs> Yeah, just little bugs and dust and stuff on it, but okay, so just as, as I suspected, uh, <laughs> glad I didn't take the windshield out, called him up and says, hey, my windshield get there? And then he said, oh, let, let me call him, it's not here yet, so uh, he calls me back and he goes, uh, well, they broke it. On, uh, on the way to deliver it, they broke it. Uh, uh, today's Friday. Uh, it'll be Monday before they can come back with another one. Because they come from Dallas, which is, you know, about 90 miles away. So, uh, and plus, it, I don't understand it, but this wrecking yard, local wrecking yard, is not open weekends. You'll know, figure, huh? Should be the busiest time for a junkyard, but... So anyway, today's Friday. So I didn't want it sitting for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday with no windshield in it. So it's not coming out, like I said, until I get it. Uh, so what I'm, what I'm going to do is I got some footage that I haven't shown before when I was building the uh, Arts 77 Malibu of me putting in a windshield or telling you about how to do it and all that uh, so I haven't shown that I'm gonna put that that clip in right now and uh, and I'll show a little bit of this one next next time we do a video on this I'll show you a little bit of footage of doing the windshield on this one that basically it's the same thing as the 77 Malibu so I'm gonna put that clip in right now and then uh, after that i'll come back and like i said previously uh i'm gonna put all all the stuff back together on this other than the windshield and the front chrome we're gonna put on the back chrome the marker lenses and uh, that little trim here and stuff so let me get all that on there and then uh i'll be back Okay, guys, I'm just going to make a little short clip here of, uh, or a few clips of uh, putting in a windshield. I busted, <laughs> I was getting ready to paint this, but I got the windshield in. It was supposed to take two or three days, but it got here in one. Uh, I busted it. I already put this windshield in from the parts car, which I thought was great. You know, I got a free windshield. Uh, but anyway, it was dark out, and I was putting the hood on, and I had this covered up with a blanket, but something hit that. I don't know, if, I don't think it was the edge of the hood. It might have been a ratchet when I was tightening up the bolts, and I'm, I don't know what happened. Uh, but anyway, it started as a crack here, but it's grown, and it just looks shitty. So we got to redo it, I just went and bought a new windshield. 175 bucks uh, So I'm just gonna go over a quick video of here how to change it uh, Basically, I already put I already put new wiper blades and stuff on here. We're gonna have to pop them off Just take a screwdriver pry it there pop them off uh, We can loosen these up here these this little plastic thing. This is a guide this and this and one like this on the other side as a guide that's that's how far you know the windshield goes down if these are missing you're gonna have to make something or do something to uh get it at the you want it at the right deal here at the right uh distance uh 
so I already have the chrome off and I got new clips on there uh, we're not putting them on until after it's painted uh, but anyway there's a little special tool that 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 uh, pushes these clips apart and then you just pull the chrome use the little tool bend this clip back with one hand pull the chrome with the other keep going all the way around okay so that's what I'm fixing to do the chrome's off I mean fixing to take the wipers off uh, we'll leave these on uh, we can probably leave that on or just loosen up these screws a little bit uh, but then we'll need oh shit I put on a, a brand new rear view mirror with their little uh, supplied tape and it's actually holding very very good in a hundred and something degree heat every day but now that's gonna be lost uh, I don't know where I can get I don't know if it's regular two-way tape or what but it came with the mirror and it seems to work usually you get that glue or that uh, two-part whatever the hell it is there that's crazy glue looking stuff some of that stuff works some of it doesn't some of it will fall off in a couple of days uh, even the stuff you buy brand name at AutoZone there it's hit and miss anyway I got a special uh, tool to take this windshield out we don't have to worry about breaking it because it's just going in the trash now, if you had a parts car like this, this one I took out of the parts car, yes, I was very careful. It took me a while. Well, it didn't take a while. It, it, it can, but it didn't because all this original butyl stuff was all just deteriorated so much that it kind of just popped out a little bit, and I didn't have to do much cutting. Uh, I used brand new urethane in here, so this is going to be kind of hard to cut, but I got a, a special air tool to cut it uh, the most difficult is underneath here getting it cut but not so much on this broken windshield like I said if you were to take one out yeah this underneath is the most difficult uh, but I got a long knife with a blade on it and I'll show you that here in a minute and like I said even if it's halfway loose we'll just punch it out of there and if it breaks it breaks we, we don't want to make a complete mess though we don't want to uh, okay I'll just show you the new windshield it's not that bad one person can do it you don't need to buy you know if if you do it all the time yeah buy suction cups and stuff like that but you're doing it once in a, a blue moon okay this is the new brand new windshield here oh it's got the deal on it good okay it's got the, the thing for the rear view mirror uh okay so yeah it fit perfectly in my avalanche i've hauled, <laughs> hauled a bunch of uh windshields with it they all seem to fit i'm always worried about one getting an inch a little an inch too long and the door hitting it and breaking it but okay so yeah you take one hand underneath you pour you uh do your urethane around there use one hand at the bottom one hand at the top bring it over like this from here at this position and bring it right over and plop it down uh, well, all you got to do is line up make sure that's why you got to have these in here so it won't go too far down and just be a little bit careful on the door well you can open the doors to give it a little bit more room uh, but that's about it and then just push it till you get an even gap on both sides and then that's it then just kind of push it down in there and it's done okay the inside you would have to uh, you might you might be able to get away with it we might try it use my little tool here and get underneath all this trim but usually if you're restoring a car anyway you got all this trim off anyway but yeah I don't want to take all this off uh, I already busted it putting it back on that screw went a little too far and cracked it it's all deteriorated 
So yeah, see this crack. Started here, now it's all the way. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, I'll get the, uh, the, the tool that I got is an air tool. Uh, I don't know. You, you don't need to buy the expensive, the professionals use what looks like a Sawzall with a, with a very thin aluminum, I guess, blade that looks like a putty knife, about that wide. And what it does is it gets under here, you know, because it's, it's pretty wide and it's, and it's, it's a Sawzall that only goes like just a little bit at a time. So they would, you would put it in there and it so fast and it cuts it all. But then blades, putty knife looking things, they're like 35, well they were 35, they're probably double that now, 35 years and years ago uh, for one blade. And you hit something wrong, you hit some metal and they'll bend. And, and it's, you know, you're constantly buying those blades and stuff. So, uh, and plus the tool itself years ago was, I don't know, 600, no, seven, 699 was the cheapest I could find one. I thought, you know, I just don't do enough windshields to buy one of them. Oh, and you know, uh, to take one out that's already broken, yeah, you can buy the little, you can use piano wire and one of those things and scrape and s struggle. Uh, I should have had it ready, but I got it. Should have it right up here. Uh, right here. So I got this year, a few years ago for 60 something dollars off of eBay. Don't know what they are now. But that's an air. You hook it to the air and it and it vibrates. Now, I think it come with a couple of blades, different side, but I've used this blade, I don't know on how many windshields, 10, 20 windshields, and I'm always afraid it's going to break, but it hasn't broke yet, uh, or, you know, break or dull out, so this is what you would use, I'll show you a little bit of it when we get it hooked up, so you want to start as far as you can, and get it in there, and as it's vibrating, it's cutting. I don't know how much that butyl stuff. It cuts real easy. This urethane. I don't know how. This isn't very very old. Two, three, four weeks old. So uh, anyway, you just go right right around the whole thing with it. Okay. So that's that's that machine. Now you. Uh, you, get, you, you can take these off to cut it. Take these off and then put them back on before you mount the windshield. But you can get at, get at this area underneath here. But some, there's some areas that you won't be able to uh, without breaking the windshield. So if you're taking off a used one, it's a little hard. Uh, so that's when I use a big knife. I'll have to, well, let's go over and grab the knife. <laughs> uh, right here that's what I got uses these type of blades here uh, you want it longer what I do is I put these blades together like that and you and use a welder and tack them this one's all full urethane I think that's a blade I tacked on there so it's longer I'll probably make another one and this is what you would use to get the harder areas mainly mainly these corners here right here so you would take this uh, we'll probably take off this cover here and get at use it like that and just arm strong it we're going to try to get as close to the windshield. Normally you wouldn't. Normally you would get close to the metal and cut it. Take all that old urethane out. But this is new stuff. It's not leaking. We're going to get close to the windshield as you can, as I can. 
so that way I won't have to use, I usually use two tubes of it, put two big thick beads on there and then put the windshield on. So I'm going to try to save most of this urethane and get uh, as close to the windshield as I can and then that way I'll just have to use probably one tube. Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, that's the way I do them. You don't stop on this machine once you get cutting. Once you get cutting in here, you don't stop. Because if you stop and move it and take a rest and then try to start back again, you're going to miss a spot. So you go to try to pull the windshield, you're going to be stuck in little spots wherever you stopped. Uh, because it you know that urethane's so thick that you, you could start up here close to the windshield or then down down below here so you'll have spots that are anyway uh we can I can hook that up do it right now in one one take there we just Hang on just a second. Okay. Yeah, it vibrates. You want to get it so it's. It's going to be tough stuff, guys. It's going to take a while. If you want to get it so that blade is just past the, the window, but you don't want it hitting the clips of the metal. Just get it in there and just keep going up and all the way around. But she's going to be in there with fresh urethane. It's going to be a little, little hard taking it out. But I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got it out of there. Uh, I just cut all the tops and just pushed it out. As you can see, it, it, it stuck good, but not good enough where it wouldn't come out. So it all kind of came apart. Now, anyway, get a new blade on your knife. And, uh, oh, first you got to take the antenna. Here's a plug for the antenna. That should be on a new one. And it plugs right in there. Okay, so we're going to, uh, like I said, just cut all this. This stuff that's on there, good. You just want to kind of just skim the the top layer off and we'll leave the rest on there like i said since it's new if it was old stuff you would uh cut it all out so that's all we're going to do is just trim it take off the loose stuff and uh get some new urethane and put it on there so i'll be back okay guys i cut all the loose stuff off trimmed it and uh Use my shop back. Got all the little pieces out of the way. So uh, uh, this is the stuff I buy off eBay. Beta, beta seals made by DuPont. And uh, this top, we're probably just going to have to put one coat on that. But down here where it all peeled off, we're going to put uh, two coats. Or two beads of it all the way around. So... Uh, Okay, and this stuff, you got to do it when it's hot. Uh, if, if this is cold, you, you'll, you'll never get it out of there. It'll be so tough that you'll have wrist problems for the rest of your life. But uh, if it's cold out, put these in the heat gun to them, heat oven or something, and heat them up real good. Anyway, let me get all the uh, urethane on there, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, I got the urethane on there. I got to act fast because it's, it's drying pretty quick. It's still it's probably 90-something degrees out right now. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to lift it up. One hand on the bottom, one hand on the top. I got some rubber gloves I'm going to put on so I don't get this stuff all over my hands. And just slide it into these two grooves, that one and that one. And then push it. Okay, I'll be back. 
Okay, guys, I got it all in there. It's all messy because, <laughs> but I'd like to uh, smush all that in there and use my finger with a rubber glove on it and go in all all around the edges. You know, all this will just scrape off with a razor blade tomorrow when it's dry, or actually, you're probably in a couple hours. But uh, yeah, just plug the antenna in right there. So, yeah, you just push on it, make sure it contacts real good. And like I said, we'll take all this stuff off. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, here's the new windshield. Scraped all the excess off of it, put on the wiper. Wipers, the... Uh, Rear view mirror wouldn't fit. This is an aftermarket rear view mirror. It's real lightweight. Uh, this one that's on there is a little bit too big. Uh, so I put some more two-way tape on that one. See if she holds. I think it's going to be a little bit wobbly. But yeah, it's just a $15 aftermarket little lightweight mirror. But it'll be all right. So we're going to vacuum up some of that black urethane that I cut off. But anyway, that's it. It's in there. Let's put the chrome on after it's painted. Should be all right. Okay, well, that's how you do a windshield. That's how I do it anyway. You don't need to buy the expensive suction cups and two people and all that stuff. I should have showed you me lifting it in there, but like I said, one hand at the bottom, one hand at the top, slide it on the stoppers there, and just keep your eye on the edge here. You know, I did have one side over a little bit more than the other, but once it's down there, you just move it over a little bit. And then you use your finger and smush all that in there real good. Uh, so you get no leaks, no air leaks, no water leaks. That's it. Okay, we'll see you. Okay, guys. Hope you enjoyed the windshield clip. That's exactly what we're going to do with this windshield. But can't do it for another three days. And that's if they get it there on Monday without breaking it again. So, <laughs> okay, I've been out here just swarm with these little fly things. They're all, well, you can see them all. They're all over around the lights uh, put the trim back on the windows a couple of clips don't hold very good but we'll have to put some urethane or something on there I didn't I didn't bother looking up all the clips and buying new stuff I think this one clip here is bent that way anyway uh, yeah it would probably look better to black out the trim but like I said, we don't know if this is going to stay a hot rod black or not for, you know, permanently. Whoever buys it might want to paint it if I sell it. Okay, got the uh, marker lights on. Uh, got the Nova emblem on. And put this uh, trim stuff I showed you around the drip rail, drip rail molding, I guess it would be. Uh, so that's like door edge guard. Anyway, got that on there both sides. Yeah, I got all these little different bugs now. Glad they didn't show up on the paint job. Okay, uh, I don't think I, I mentioned it, but I got door edge or uh, door weather stripping. See this weather stripping here? It's just, it just bugs the shit out of me. Just all nasty uh, should be clips here and then goes into that groove there I did dig it all out with a screwdriver and everything uh, but anyway yeah 78 bucks I bought a pair of them couldn't find any good deals for this and the trunk combined but anyway
Put the pointed part up there, pointed there, then curve there. So anyway, I don't know what brand it is here. OER, original equipment reproduction. Original quality, original appearance. We'll see. So anyway, let me put them on. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys. There's the old weather stripping. Got her in there. Lined up pretty good. Just uh, pushes in this groove around here. And then the clip start down there. So, uh... Put some WD-40 on them hinges. But, uh, anyway. I didn't do the other side because I'm getting swarmed by these bugs here. But, uh, I'll do that tomorrow. So, I think we'll end the video on that. Uh, when we come back to this, I'll just show you a little bit of the windshield. Like I said, since I showed most of the how to do one. Uh, we may do some interior stuff. Now, I did buy carpet for this <laughs> but that was it uh 160 or 70 bucks for carpet black uh i got some ideas on the interior i got some black they're decent seats out of a like an 01 mustang and a console i can use from a durango uh i'm gonna buy a steering wheel cover since nobody's offered up a steering wheel yet. I don't think this one is all leaking, has all that gooey stuff all over it. But we'll just get one of them. I'm gonna go to Walmart shopping tomorrow, put a steering wheel cover on it. Uh maybe paint the door panels, I'm not sure yet. But like I said, there's nothing I can do about all this plastic stuff here that's all disintegrating. Uh just can't do nothing with it few comments on the wheels these wheels are basically roller wheels okay roller means just just around the property take it out on the highway they're gonna fly apart they're all weather checked they're probably who knows how old they are uh, but they're all they're all weather cracked and everything all splitting in here here and uh, Somebody said, oh, but turn the white walls out, make black Well, no, why? Why would I do that? The, the tires are junk. Why well, spend the time of, you know, making them even worse? Tire machine is going to split them apart uh, for just roller wheels. There's a hot rod, no, but it needs some mags on it, some wide tires on the back. Uh, if you're going to drive it on the road, pretty much new tires. Uh... I got some, if you've been around for a while, I got two parts cars for this IROC Z over there. And there's some wide 14 inch for the back with wide tires on it. Pretty wide, like they're like 10 inch center line rims. Uh, the tires are probably no good, but at least they're wide rims. You can put wide tires on them and it'll, they'll look good. Uh, but I was going to do this before we paint it. I was going to trim up this wheel well here so you fit wider tires on it. Uh, but the front ones, they're 14s for the back, center lines. And then I got two for the front, but they're 15s and they're little pizza cutters. I don't know, three inch or something rims uh, with little skinny tires on it. So yeah, that would be on the theme for this is a hot rod drag car or something. Uh, I don't want to buy new tires for them. I'd take them off and put them on here, but I don't. Uh, I may do that just to just to see. Maybe trim up them wheel wells there and see if they fit and see what it looks like. But something like that. These are just little 14 inch factory ones with crappy tires on it. They're, I'm not gonna paint them. I'm not gonna reverse the white walls or any of that. Uh, down the road it would get some nice rims and wide tires and all that stuff and 
uh, either for me or whoever buys it. So yeah, we're not we're not doing nothing with the wheels. Okay, so uh, yeah, let me think about the interior of them seats. I was waiting. I think I'll do it. I was waiting for the weather to cool down so I can uh, go and put an ad out and pick up more junk cars because I usually come across a lot of nice bucket seats. The ones in the Mustang are power. I'd rather have manual, but I can hook up a power wire to it. <coughs> uh, so yeah, I was kind of waiting for that. So let me think on that for buckets console, maybe paint the door panels, car new carpet. But other than that, uh, not much I can do, like I said, on the other stuff. So anyway, we'll, we'll end the Nova part of this video on, on that. Let me know what you think. And uh, stay tuned. The second part of this video is going to be putting in that dash cam. And it's all dash cams are, are not the same. This one is, this one is uh, different. And I like it. So stay tuned for that. And then uh, we'll see y'all next video. Welcome to the channel, folks. Clunkers and Classics. Now, what we have is another dash cam. But this one is a lot different than the other ones I've uh, reviewed and installed. Uh, I believe it goes over the rear view mirror right and it's got a it's 12 inches long and it's got it's a touch screen you can like transfer from the front to the back and all that stuff we'll, we'll find out here in a little while so this is the package that came in uh there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of stuff here i hope it's got some good instructions uh, little bags of stuff. I know one of them is going to be a hard wire kit. Probably that one. And we, we won't hook that one up. Same reasons as the other one. Just uh, so yeah. Uh, I just got to show it being unboxed and stuff. Yeah, this is it here. Okay, it's a wolf box. I'm going to give you all the stats here in a little bit. I got them all written down. This is the uh, G900 Pro. Uh, from what this says, yeah, 12 inch touch screen, GPS, 5 VG Wi Fi, voice control super night vision 4k i think it's 4k front camera 2.5k rear camera uh, okay yeah that's that's your camera there that's going to be pretty cool and like i said you can uh switch to the back camera and all that stuff so we're going to hook up as much as we can on this uh, so this <laughs> this box also has a whole bunch of uh, deals in it I don't know what these are decals or something there's your power supply uh, that is probably your rear camera you know, just all kinds of other stuff here. Okay, what we're going to install it in is the avalanche here. Uh, I need to wash it up. I'll probably wait till the morning. It hasn't rained here in uh, over 70 days. So all this dust that collects on these on my vehicles, they don't get washed off every now and then with rain. So we're kind of in a drought which is good because I actually hate the rain. It's no good for nothing except for farmers. This gets everything all wet, rusty, and, you know, crappy. 
because I like working outside. So, anyway, let me, uh, here's the user manual. Hopefully this tells how to uh, hook it up. There's all the stats there. Okay, let me uh, let me read up on that and see if I can figure out how to <laughs> how to get her working and then installed. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, just rinsed it off, fixing to take it up and get the windshield for uh, the Nova. But let's go over the uh, dash cam. I got I got it installed except for the wires. I haven't tucked them up there yet. Okay, this is the rear camera here, and I just mounted it right there, as you can see. Uh, these avalanches, actually, all this stuff comes comes out. It's all open here in the bed. Not exactly sure which way the window. It's been a while since I pulled the window out, but hopefully it doesn't hit there. <laughs> but anyway, it's waterproof and. They uh, suggest to mount it on the outside, so they usually have it over over by the bumper somewhere. Uh, but I just wanted to mount it inside for now, or you could put it outside here underneath underneath this third brake light. Okay, this red wire, this red wire here, you don't have to hook that up for it to work. What that is is when you hook it up to the power on the reverse lights okay so when you put it in reverse on the screen there will be parking lines coming down so you can you know back up into a parking spot perfectly uh that's what that's for but we're not we're not hooking that up either okay and it came with a little tool i'll show you here in a minute where you can just push this up underneath the trim so I'm going to put it in the trim around there, up there, to the windshield. Okay, so let's, uh... Now, I didn't realize that this is actually a rear view mirror. If you look in there, you can see the back, uh, the van that's behind me. I didn't realize that. I didn't think it, it was there, okay? So what it does is it straps to your existing mirror and you use these elastic uh, these elastic, they had bigger ones than this. And you wrap them around this deal here and to the bottom here. And it's on there pretty good. I mean, the, the mirror, this might not be, but it, this is attached to the mirror really good. Okay, so that's how you attach it. Uh, I don't know what some of this stuff is for, unless this is for a different kind of mirror. I'm not exactly sure what that's for or that. Uh, that was a little polarizing lens, sunglasses for a camera. I put that on there. This is a little tool to uh, push push the stuff up underneath the trim, push the wires. We'll do that later. Okay, so plug this in. This is this is pretty cool, guys. Okay, so there's the front. You're viewing out the front. The camera's right here. So you gotta when you mount this on the mirror, you gotta mount it over this way just a little bit. Maybe not. There's there's still a little bit of room in there, but. Okay, and of course you can adjust this to up, down. Okay, so that's the front. Now this is all touch screen. Uh, okay, this is the uh, power. You plug that into the power to your power cigarette lighter outlet. Uh, I don't know why, but they got a separate GPS. Or no, this is the rear camera here coming out. And then this is the GPS. So this deal here, you mount that up to Elon Musk's satellites there and you you know see it says up and you glue it to your dash but over over there 
so they say to mount it up here somewhere and we'll run them wires up underneath here too here in a little bit okay so that's all the connections okay so you can swipe it now you got your front view and your rear view this is what's behind me. See, it's pretty clear, even though that back window, that back window is pretty dark tinted, but it's still showing through pretty good. Okay, then you go again, and it's just your back. So that's, there's your rear view mirror right there. And if you want to look at both, you go like that. Okay, it's got the date, the time. I screwed up the time there. Uh, it's not 3.58 a.m., but anyway... Uh, here's your, your direction you're going, north, south, east, west, and then, uh, zero miles per hour, your miles. So, uh, to get the menu, oh, oh, yeah, you can adjust the camera that way, too. Uh, okay, here's your menu here. So, you can go dimmer, well, uh, take a picture. Here's your settings. Oh, I guess I, I barely even touched that. So here's all your uh, deals here. Adjust your volume, uh, screen brightness, explode. Whoop. Let me just go this to go off. Go up here. Mirror flip, rear cam flip, GPS. Uh, there's your clock setting there. Uh oh, there's your time. We want we want central time, but I don't know. Do that later. Okay. Uh, yeah, there, it came with an SD card. That's right in here. Our SD cards here. Okay, so let's get off there. Okay, so there's an app. You can go to their website, I believe, and they have an app. And you can transfer all this video onto your phone. And you can, oh, oh it's also got voice control. Uh, I forget what the, uh, it's in the owner's manual there. The, uh, you know, audio off, audio on. Uh, stuff like that uh, Some more features you got to do that app uh, Okay, let me let me Read off what they want me to say here. It's the G900 Pro dash cam smart mirror 4k and 2k dual viewing recording I watched another video on this and you can adjust that 4k to 2k Yeah, see it's 4k front two and a half rear and he said he lived in Florida, and he put it 2.5 on both of them. Because he said 4K gets a little too hot, especially in Florida. So being here, uh, or he said he didn't want to risk the heating, the heating of it, electronics. I don't know. So anyway, you can adjust that also. Okay, it's got a dual Starburst 2. IMX 678 sensor voice control. It's a 12 inch screen loop recording and G sensor Film level high quality audio. It's got an 18 month warranty super night vision 24 7 on guard uh, Yeah, it's got also it'll you can hardwire it it came with the kit here to hardwire it in there uh I'm not going to. That means you don't use your cigarette lighter. You just hook it to the electrical connections and the uh, uh, ground and all that. Uh, but I, I believe the parking stuff works without doing all that. And the park, uh, when you're parked, it, yeah, it'll stay on, but it'll, well, it'll, it'll turn itself off until something's jolted or, you know, somebody bumps into you or tries to break in. Then it'll turn on, but it'll, uh, during that time, it's always actually on. The screen isn't on, but the product itself is on, ready to go. And it's 
going real slow until something activates it and it has automatically automatic uh, battery it'll shut off before it kill your battery type thing okay so there is that uh may hook that up at some point uh say yeah uh, safe parking assistance they got a 98 percent customer satisfaction uh Delivering unparalleled cl clarity and, and precision experience. The ultimate in automotive safety and recording technology. Uh, also, the, it has a Wi-Fi feature. That's where you hook it up to your phone. And uh, you can transfer your footage to your phone. Then the parking monitor, safety, and reliability for parked cars. So I think that's about it. I like it. I like these... The screen, touch screen, and all that, and and the big view. You know, the other dash cam's got a little viewer there. Uh, so yeah, I think that rear view is good enough. I mean, uh, I don't think I have to hook it on the bumper or nothing. Okay, so uh, I'm fixing to go get the windshield for that Nova. So I will. Oh, and you can actually turn it. This is. Oh, yeah. I think the only button is on and off. Let me see here. You hold it in, yeah. You can just turn it off. Turn it off, or or just unplug the deal here. And this little thing here's got a little power supply too, so you don't you don't lose your your outlet. You can still hook a power supply. Yeah, so I like it, guys. You can check them out. I'll put all the information in the uh, in the description. And uh, yeah, check them out. Well, I'll be back later for. Uh, I'm gonna get all these wires all up underneath the trim as best I can, and uh, I'll show you that. And like I said, there's the. What, this is an extra long cord. I guess if you got a really long truck uh, for your rear camera, then this is for your hardwire kit. And like I said, some of this stuff I'm I'm not sure what it's for. Um, I could probably find out by going to their website. But this this just gives the basics of how to install it and everything. But like I said, they got a there it is there www uh, wolfbox.com they got an email and a phone and all that stuff so uh yeah okay I'll be back a little bit later okay guys we got the wire underneath that trim underneath here underneath here and then I took this uh trim piece off here and this for all the rear camera stuff and then the uh, GPS deal up in here too and it's stuck on there okay as far as the power power I could have went the same way but then I'd have to wrap it around this glove box and stuff I didn't really want to do that so I just put the wire here and put it in behind this bezel so it's tight and then just uh just tied it up there and I can stick it stick it in here for now so I think that's good enough that's not gonna bother me or nothing okay so I think that's it um, what I'll do is uh, uh, I'll show uh, some forward and reverse back and front uh, footage from this deal here uh, from the SD card, so I'll do that as soon as I go out and pick up the windshield for that Nova. So I'll take it for a drive, and then I'll show you some footage of it. Okay, so I'll be back at the end. Okay, guys, we'll test if this uh, audio works on the uh, dash cam. 
and we're just gonna drive around the property because the windshield they were gonna deliver that I was gonna pick up, uh, they broke it. So it's gonna be like three days. <laughs> so I don't really have anywhere to go right now. We wanna finish this video. So we're just gonna drive around the property and I'll show you the front and the rear footage from the dash cam. So you can see what it looks like. I'm looking at both views right now in the rear view mirror camera. I got the van right in the way so I can't make a complete circle. set up for one minute intervals. It has a timer on it right now. It's saying like 41. So we'll have to get two minutes of it. I guess we'll do a minute frontwards and a minute backwards. That was two minutes already. I don't know, it's going back over to six seconds. This audio works out. I guess I don't have to do an out, an outro. So, uh, yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, check out the description for the link.